Hey there, you know, I started an interesting discussion on Twitter, which was around what's the difference between an array and a pointer. Uh, so I just want to kind of present my thoughts and, uh, you know, let's go from there. So an array essentially is a contiguous, you know, memory, um, uh, which has elements of similar type, right, or same type. So int a 10, for example, uh, would be you know 40 bytes worth of um, memory wherein you know sequentially four 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 bytes and we go from like the zeroth four byte all the way to the ninth four byte right so that's uh, like uh, what an array is and also if we were to do size of array or in this case size of a we would get the answer you know 40 that's how much memory it consumes so what i wanted to then do was behind the scene an array behaves like a pointer you know a is essentially pointing or holding the address of the first element of that array and if we were to just do like you know a of zero a of one um, this kind of translates into um, you know pointer arithmetic and that same as you know from a as a pointer increment uh, those many units in terms of the size of the data type so for example a plus one here would mean hey you know add four bytes because it's an integer type int is four bytes can also be two bytes but on my machine happens to be four bytes so skip or add four bytes four units or four bytes and that four bytes is one unit so the units is what we specify here uh, Cool, so that is about an array. An array is like a pointer. And if I had, let's say, I don't know, um, uh, int um, star p, and then, you know, p was pointing to a continuous, contiguous um, memory that also had, let's say, 40 bytes, and each of the four bytes here um, had some numbers, then the question is p of zero, p of one uh, also works as if this contiguous or uh, continuous memory is kind of you know an array it works that way so then the question was as to what is the difference between array and a pointer and the answer to that is uh, if we had something like let's say int uh, and i'll just do it uh, like a smaller array and we had let's say one two three uh, and we had let's say int star p uh equals to well i don't know a for example or we had another integer here uh, which is i equals to 10 and we had like the address of i then what's the difference between a pointer and an array so the thing is an array cannot be reassigned right you cannot have a equals to something you know not allowed that address changing um, is essentially not allowed whereas in case of a pointer we can reassign that pointer give it a different memory location to save and it will save that memory address so that is one major major difference now the other interesting thing that came up in a discussion was the notion of size um, you know in this case let's say we had this so the notion of size stays with the uh, array while the notion of size doesn't stay with the pointer and i have few thoughts there so the size of operate the size of function or macro whatever so that gives us the answer three let's say and uh, it what i believe is that the compiler as it's running through our code can infer this size related information because of the value provided here so when we ask it hey what's the size of a it will give us the answer three what i mean to say is this is no different than a pointer except it cannot be reassigned and this size related information is not stored in any place along with the pointer uh, it's not like a comma three or a plus you know some three related information stored anywhere in the memory it's kind of inferred by the compiler that's one um, and the other thing is, is that if we had like let's say foo function which took in like an int three as an argument for example uh, so 
my understanding is that the size related information is dropped so when we have oh, let's let's make this b right so if we had let's say foo of a and a being this array right here and let's say if this was 30 instead of 3 and this was also 30 and that's kind of where the debit was uh, at some point headed so if a, the b30 here and a30 here and a30 was assigned here and we did size of b inside this function size of sorry size of b right here um, it wouldn't le lead us to 30 it wouldn't print 30 what happens is as soon as we pass an array to a function it's kind of decayed into a pointer it's treated as if it's a normal pointer and the size of uh, b here should give us 4 or 8 depending on what's the usual size of pointer on your machine so that's like the background and so what i wanted to do was present an experiment uh, to kind of you know learn more about this uh, so yeah i have my you know terminal here and what i'm going to do is first of well increase the font size well um, let me then go ahead and cat main.c so what you notice here is i have an array which is and by the way this experiment only proves uh, the part which has to do with if we are passing an array to a function which also takes an array of the same size so a is 10 here the array is 10 here even if it is of the same size what it ends up doing is uh, it ends up kind of you know decaying into a pointer so i just wanted to prove that point or at least that's what my experiment suggests so what you see here is an int array uh, well int a which is an array of 10 and what i have done is all elements all 10 elements are uh, kind of you know one and what i now want to do is uh, maybe go ahead and modify this code a little bit to have print statements um, so i'm going to first off uh, print uh, the size of uh, a right let me print that and so that would be this slash n uh, let's go ahead and print size of you know a so that's one thing and the second thing i'm trying to do is call this function add and if you notice um, you know add function i'm passing the array a to it and it is going here it takes in int array 10 and what i'm wanting to do is add the elements of that array you know go through the size of array and you know uh, add the elements and then kind of return the sum my expectation is that as these are 10 ones the sum should be 10 that's what i'm wanting to achieve and notice that i'm inferring the size of array right here and that's what i'm doing so uh, let me also then go ahead uh, where is my cursor okay just a moment yeah let me then go ahead and on um, you know right here let me also do like a printf then let me do add and then this say size of okay size of array uh, colon percent d slash n uh, and then let me say size of array uh, so this is what we have um, sum is getting printed here so let's not worry about it let's then go back here let me clear the screen uh, oh sorry let me just compile it to main okay and we do see a lot of warnings even though the code has compiled we do see a lot of warnings and one of the warnings it says is okay it's talking about like an unsigned long being returned um, uh, that's that's all right um, but the other thing that i want us to see here is hey you know oh, well the size of an array function parameter array will return the size of an int star so this is where it is going to return size of a pointer instead of returning the size of an array right so that is what i was referring to that the array has decayed to a pointer and that's why it will return size of a pointer and if we run this which 
I'll quickly do. So if I were to do dot main, we'll notice that size of array A is 40, which makes sense because 40 bytes is consumed, 10 integers are present. But then if we see size of A R R A Y, which was within the add function, which, which was right here. So that is turning out to be eight and the sum is turning out to be eight, which means the size of here in this function came out to be eight and not 40, right? So that's, that's a problem. And um, well, I should have done one other thing here. There was like a error in my program. So let's correct that. So here it should have actually been size of array uh, divided by four because size of array returns the number of bytes that array consumes. And well, I could have just as well done size of int, right? And uh, could have been this. Okay. And then let's do GCC main again. So now when I run it, it returns two because, hey, eight was the size of the pointer on my machine and divide by two or divide by four is two. So it only sum the two elements. Right? So hopefully without confusing you, I've conveyed what my learning was, which is an array cannot be reassigned. That was one and I did not do the experiment for that. We can run that too. Uh, but the other thing is the size related information uh, is only available as long as, you know, the, the array is like local and also not a function parameter. Once we take an array and pass it to a function, it decays into a pointer, irrespective of whether or not that input parameter happens to be an array as well of the same type and the same size. Well, same type is mandatory, but same size, irrespective of that, uh, you know, it looks as though it decays into a pointer. Uh, there might be other, you know, experiments that prove otherwise and, you know, help me with that. Uh, but that is what, at least, uh, this is what I see right now. Okay, so now let's try and assign, uh, uh, let's, let's say, you know, uh, let, let's try this. Let's say we have another, uh, array here which is int b and that happens to be 10 also then the question is can we do b equals to a right just taking b and saying hey you know uh, point to or reassign it to a let's see if that happens and that doesn't happen you know as you can see here error assign assignment to expression with array type so uh, reassigning an array uh, is not possible. Of course, the elements of a given array can be modified, but you cannot take an array uh, variable and make it point elsewhere. So that's the difference. Uh, hopefully, you know, you learned something here. And uh, if there is something that I, you believe I got wrong or can be corrected, do, you know, add your comments and let's kind of learn together. All right. With this, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.